Hello, everyone. Recently, I discovered an amusing prank you can pull on a Windows computer. For this demonstration, I'll be using Windows 7. I'm not sure if it works on other Windows computers, but I'm pretty sure it does. What this prank does is create a looping pop-up message. What that means is, a pop-up message would appear in the middle of the screen. But, when you try to click on the X or any of the buttons, it does not go away. It'll keep popping up over and over again. Therefore, it is called a looping message. And it's really quick and easy to set up. First, open up Notepad. I have it down here. This is what you should type in. Do MSG box, message goes here, 0 plus 16, title goes here. Every part needs to be here except the words message goes here and title goes here. Those can be replaced with anything. And do and loop are what make the message box loop. If you don't have those two, then you can click on the buttons or the X and the message box will go away. But we don't want that, do we? So, you can replace message goes here and title goes here with whatever you want. If you did everything right, it should look something like this. For example, my message would read, You are being hacked, sir. And the title of the window would read, This is bad. Which, it isn't very bad, but some people might think that. So, once you have that all typed out, click on File, click on Save As, and then in f on the File Name field, type in whatever you want, whatever you want to name it. It could be Terror, or Error, or something. But to, you have to make sure it ends in .vbs. Then click on Save As Type, All Files. This is the important part, as it'll save what you just typed in as a script. And now it can be run by the computer to make the actual message box appear. Once you've done that, click on Save. If you did everything right, your message, for example, I am using my demonstration message, should look like this. This is bad. You are being hacked, sir. Oh my! Okay. It didn't go away. Okay. Why is it still there? Oh no! It's not going away! But I know how to get rid of it. What you need to do is press Control Alt Delete. Then click on Start Task Manager. Make sure it's on the Processes tab. Scroll down until you find WS wscript.exe. Click on that, then click on End Process. And now the message is gone. And you may be wondering, why would anybody click on that? It seems kind of bad. Let me tell you how to make it appear whenever somebody turns on the computer. What you need to do is open the Run program, which can be done by pressing Start and R at the same time. In the field, type in shell colon startup, then click on OK. This is the folder that whatever is in it will be activated whenever the computer is started up. I'm just going to drag in my error, and now you can exit out of everything. Now whenever the computer starts up, that error message will appear. <laughs> If you can do this correctly, nobody will know you've pulled this prank until after they've turned off and turned on their computer, which is unlikely to happen while you're there. But that's not all you can do with this. You can create a sequence of messages that pop up one after the other and still have them loop. To do that, you add multiple message boxes before loop and after do. If you did everything right, it should look like this. Oh, and by the way, these two numbers bet around the plus can be used to change the buttons you can click and the symbol that appears on the window. The left number is the buttons. The right number is the symbols. 
Now, for the left number, 0 is just the OK button. 1 would be OK and cancel. 2 would be abort, retry, and ignore. 3 would be yes, no, and cancel. 4 would be yes and no. 5 would be retry and cancel. But for this, I'm just going to stick with 0, which is OK. For the right number, 16 shows the critical message icon, which was that X in the red circle that you saw. But you can also change it to 32, which shows a question message icon, or 48, which shows a warning message icon, or 64, which shows an info message icon. The different icons also have different sounds that play when you open the window. For this, I'm going to use the critical message icon. And so, to demonstrate what this would look like, I'm going to activate it. This looks just like the same as before. Or is it? This is bad. You are being hacked, sir. OK. This is very bad. You are totally being hacked. That doesn't seem very good. Alas, thou art being hacked. Oh my, what can I do? Oh, it restarted. There it goes. And it just keeps on coming up. But, using our fix from before, control out delete start task manager, processes, wscript.exe, and process, it goes away. Ain't that lovely? And so, you may be wondering how you can do all that fast enough to put it on a friend's computer if he's just left to maybe grab a drink or something. What you can do is grab a flash drive. I have a flash drive in the computer right now. I have it labeled here in the F drive. What I need to do is open up two windows. Then, or you can just copy it. Copy and paste. Now you have it on your flash drive. And whenever you get the chance, you can plug your flash drive into your friend's computer and then just open up the startup folder like I showed you and then drag in your little virus. Don't mind that. And now you can exit out of everything. Hope your friend doesn't notice. And now you have finished the prank. You can smile knowing what fun you can have with this prank. Thank you and have a snazzy day.